What is going on guys that call me Ampy? Welcome to another video on the channel today. In today's video, I wanted to give you guys some more tips for improving your gameplay on console specifically for Rainbow Six Siege. I made a previous video on how to improve your aim in Rainbow Six Siege for some general tips and improvements, so I'll link that in the description if you guys haven't checked that out just yet. I really appreciate the support and it encouraged me to make this video again for console tips specifically. Some of these tips can be applied on PC and some of you guys may or may not use these tips, but I found these work best for me, so I wanted to share them as best I could. So I wanted to talk about some settings first you guys have been asking me to make a dedicated settings video, and I will do that later on, but we're gonna brush over some quick things here in the settings menu. As of right now, I'm currently plat one. We're working on diamond. I've been diamond every single season except year one of season one, and we'll get there as soon as I have some more time to play some Rainbow Six. But the thing I want to start off first with is vibration, and I really encourage you guys to turn vibration off, and it's the first thing I do when I play any sort of FPS, and in a game like Rainbow Six where headshots do absolutely matter and can change the course of the ground, the last thing you want when you're in a gunfight and you're getting shot by one one, two, or maybe even three people is the vibration of the controller taking you away from your shot. You can't control recoil, it's a distraction, and you're gonna lose the gunfight. Now, if you enjoy vibration and you somehow win more gunfights with it on, by all means, leave it on. But in my experience, again, um, it definitely leads to more gunfights won, more rounds won, and higher ranks on console when you do turn that option off. So the next tip is staying within the settings menu. We're gonna talk about the dead zone percentages here on console. Left and right stick, I really encourage and recommend you guys to turn it on the lowest percentage possible, which does end up being 5%. I get questions about this all the time, and to simplify dead zone, it is the amount of pressure you have to put on your left and right analog sticks to make your operator move in any given direction. So the lower the percentage, the dead zone percentage, the easier it's going to be to flick and aim and turn, and it's less work on your part because you don't have to apply as much force on the controller. And I love putting these as low as they possibly can go because it just makes gunfights very easy. You can really turn on people with just honestly the flick of a control stick. Try this out and let me know how it goes. Now I have a friend who is almost diamond, and I was surprised when he told me that he didn't know about this tip just yet. Gadget deployment in the options menu should always, always be set to toggle. I promise you it's going to save your life in rank play. Now what this does essentially is whether you're putting down barbed wire, Jaeger's ADS devices, a reinforcement, whatever it ends up being, you're going to have to choose your gadget and then hold the X button for the entire duration of the animation of putting whatever the gadget is down, and then you let go of the X button when it's finished and you're good to go. Now what this essentially does, while it may be more work on your part if you're actually placing a gadget, it does allow you to cancel the gadget animation if you are getting shot at, if you are getting hit by a twitch drone, or if there's a grenade or anything of that sort. You are no longer locked into that gadget animation just by simply using toggle. It is really going to help in rank play, like I said, whether you're bandit juggling or whether you are getting bandit juggled, things like that. You simply take your thermite charge off the wall or take the bandit charge off the wall and readjust accordingly and change the strat. My next tip is something that I don't see a lot of console players doing. I see it a little bit on PC, so if you do reload cancel on PC, let me know, but we're going to talk about reload canceling on consoles. So reload canceling is exactly what it sounds. You are canceling the animation for your reload so you can take a follow-up shot that much faster. It definitely comes in clutch in very sticky situations in which you reload it on accident or if you reload it too soon and you have to take a follow-up shot if you see another enemy. So what you essentially have to do is after being stuck in the reload animation, simply sprint really quickly on the left analog stick and then you could cancel the reload and you could fire accordingly. One tip to be aware of, just make sure you have extra bullets in your magazine because if you don't, you're definitely going to lose that second gunfight, but it does take some practice but it can net you some nasty two pieces if you do reload on accident. Now, my last tip is exactly about reloading too soon, and to put it simply, please don't do it. Please don't reload after every single bullet that you fire out of your weapon, because if you do, you are going to be totally unprepared for the next gunfight, and you can't reload cancel every single gunfight. There's just not enough time. Be a little bit more patient with your gunfights. Always expect somebody around that second corner. Wait until you're totally clear to reload, and then reload as you see fit. It is a nasty habit to break in these FPS titles, and I'm guilty of doing it throughout this entire video. I forget sometimes. It's just something you always have to constantly be aware of, and it's going to net you more gunfights won. But that's all I have for you guys. These are my tips for improving yourself on console. If you have any more tips, please drop them down below. Again, I'll dedicate another video to my settings and explain how I do things for all you guys that have been curious, but I really appreciate all the support on the Rainbow Six videos. I'll continue to make them as best I can. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.